setting up today. It's becoming the world superpower. And so much like Al said, they just gave Nigeria $28 billion for their oil. They in Africa, y'all. They up in there. Go ahead. And the ten horns which I saw are ten kings which have received no kingdom as yet, mm -hmm. but received power as kings one hour with the beast. Yeah, bland all them cats. Because he's the king, but the queen is the one that rules. And I could go through all, all those countries like that. Go ahead. These have one mind and shall give their power and strength unto the beast. Mm -hmm. He shall make war with the lamb, and the lamb shall overcome them. Mm -hmm. For he is Lord of lords and king of kings. Yeah. And they that are with him are called and chosen and faithful. And he said unto me, The waters which thou sawest, where the poor sitteth, are peoples and multitudes and nations and tongues. That's right. And the ten horns which thou sawest. Multitudes and nations and tongues. That's what we're, that's what we're heading to today. China working with its own Illuminati system. All Illuminatis are trying to do one thing. They're trying to eliminate the multiple of the tongues and get it onto one language. And that's what they're saying you gotta look out for. Let's talk about the multiple of the tongues, because they're trying to get it to one language. Guess what that language is? English. Because it used to be French and Latin, but now it's gonna be English. Go ahead. And the ten horns which I saw upon the beast, mm -hmm. these shall hate the whore, and shall make her desolate and naked, and shall eat And that's what's happening now. Everybody's going against the whore. Everybody's going against America. Go on. And shall eat her flesh and burn her with fire. For mm -hmm. so God hath put in their hearts to fulfill his will and to agree, and mm -hmm. to give their kingdom unto the beast, until the words of God shall be fulfilled. And the woman which thou sawest it is that great city which reigneth over the kings of, of the earth. Of the world. And it's talking about America. When we leave 17 and we work our way up to 22, that's why 22 is talking about you need some trees, you need some herbs, yo, to get yourself together to heal you from all this craziness that's going on. So if you read 17 again and you work your way up to how we started on chapter 22, you can see how the reasoning becomes about why you need the herbs, why you need to go back to nature after seeing all 17, 18, and 19. Okay? Any more questions? Again? Go ahead. Okay. It's um It's another chapter? No, it's not another chapter. I'm just trying to figure out how to word this. Like it's I don't know, I guess um in, in 
with Facebook and just talking to different people, right. seems like the sisters that gain knowledge of themselves and, and realize, you know, all the great things about us, it's like they want to push the brothers aside, you know, say the hell with the brothers and, and it's like a lot of bashing and, and it's, the question that's going on now is who is God, the black man or the black woman? My thinking is that we can't really exist without each other, so why right. try to pinpoint who, who is? You got to look at the day and time you're living in. Mm -hmm. we're, we're not there yet, but we're heading into what they would call the days of summer. What that means is if you look at Every, I would, I would I use a, a, a philosophy. Philosophy means what someone is saying. Their interpretation of things. If you really listen to the Illuminati, they are trying to get the planet down to 500 million people. If you listen to nature, nature's trying to get the people down to 500 million. If you listen to science, Science is saying we got to shrink down the population. Now the point is you really don't have to because where you live, you're not occupying all the lands. Because there's massive lands outside of cities and, and towns and it's all across America and all across the world. But what would happen if people went to these lands? They would desecrate the lands as well. So what happens is a combination of all these forces are saying we have to shrink down the planet. Now, if I separate a man from a woman, can't have no babies from that. That's shrinking. So it's not so much as someone is doing it, which they are. I can't say they're not. They are. But it's nature at the same time. Because if you listen to a lot of people on Facebook, Facebook is negative. And that's where they're all the negative. Some people say, I can't deal with this. So you got to count how many people that say, I'm getting off this stupidity, as opposed to who not only stays there, but brings other people there. By adding them as friends. And then they bring in other friends and other friends. Because Facebook right now, if you really pay attention to it, the police in them is monitoring. Yeah. Because people is bragging about how they be stealing, how they be knocking niggas out. So they be like, okay, let us know about this. And they're getting people on Facebook, the amount of people on Facebook for criminal activity. All that is is to knock down the population. But everybody doesn't think that way. But it's a lot of people, but not everybody. So it's a, it's a force that's going around that's trying to separate. Speaking on, on the population control, is that why seemingly a lot of homosexuals are coming into power? Mm -hmm. Because they're the ones that will suffer. They, won't, they come into power where there'll be a lot of kids born. There'll be kids born because you can't stop nature. You can't stop it. But it won't be as many. And that's what the powers are trying to get it down, to where there won't be as many people born. Mm -hmm. yeah. Is that a good thing or a bad thing? It's a reality thing. Because mm -hmm. if you look at the tremendous weather patterns we're having, you ain't going, you know, strawberries going to be five, six, eight dollars next yeah, year. Mm -hmm. Oranges going to be about ten dollars. Mm -hmm. Bread going to go up because the, the harvest is getting wiped out because of this ice and snow that you have in places it normally doesn't happen at. Florida, California. Now, California ain't getting the cold, but hell, they're getting the fires in the mudstone and the mudslide. And now because everybody's sucking up water in Georgia, they're talking about stopping the pipeline of water going out to California and Arizona in there. So where are they going to get water from? Because the Colorado is, see, you got to realize, you know, Arizona is a hot place. Most of California is hot. Not all of it, but most of it. They get water from other states. Mm -hmm. And these states are saying, well, we can't afford to deal with y'all no more on the water because we're going to have to raise up the prices of people paying water and they're going to go eat crazy. So they're trying to cut off water. You start cutting off water in, Cali in, in California and Arizona in these hot states, you're cutting off food. You're cutting off resources. And they are cutting it out. And that's, that's a reality thing. Because they're saying they don't have enough resources to fit the whole, the whole all the continents where people live. Now that's not everybody. Because some people live off rice and little minute things, but it happens here because we eat a lot. 
A lot of parts, parts of the world don't eat a lot. We get full plates, they get portions. Right. Me traveling, I had to learn that way. I'm like, this is all I'm getting? <laughs> He's like, yeah. <laughs> oh, you're America. We just get portions. I said, oh, we have two. <laughs> and, and that's the way it is. So what happens is, it's a reality thing. It's not neither a good or bad thing, it's a reality. And that's why a lot of people, by nature, like my man there, they're getting a lot of the vegetables. They're eating a lot of little things that'll keep you healthy, like Miss Dr. Fantan in the back there. They ain't drinking that crazy water. They get this special water, this alkaline water, because it's better than the, the, the what is it, chlor, what should I say, Clorox water, <laughs> chlorine water, <laughs> drinking a bottle of Clorox. They're not taking into that. So that's, but how many people are doing that? Too many. No, with the herbs, not enough. You see my point? That's why I always use phrases like this in religion. Many are called, but what? Few are chosen. We only need 144,000 people. We don't need all them Negroes. They ain't looking, the, 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 the planet, the universe, the forces on this planet are not looking for a whole lot of people. They, get, they want to get rid of a whole lot of people. You see that? Now look around in this room. Look at what you're getting today that you ain't going to get in church or Marx. Now, how many people in the church of March? Hundreds of thousands. You look at some of them churches Sunday morning. But how many people are here? Not a few. A few will survive. That's the bottom line. You get your head straight and everything, you'll survive. You stay caught up with that foolishness, you're going to go down with that foolishness. That's the bottom line. That's all you got to do. Get this together. Get that together. You straight. You have no worries. Like Lion King had. No worry. <laughs> Tony McConnell. <whatever. laughs> no worry. Because <laughs> that worry causes stress, and that stress does what? Kill you. That's why you shouldn't have no worries. Because it's killing you. And that's what it's there for to stress you out and to what? <coughs> Kill you. Go ahead. I have some more questions after that. Well, um. Right. So it's a reality thing. Okay. Go ahead. Speaking on them, um, you know, controlling the food and everything mm -hmm. like that. Yeah. I don't know if you're aware, but with the um, with the law where they were trying to, well, they passed it about uh, not being able to buy seeds and plant your own crops. Ain't that crazy? It's crazy. Is that like going to be? No, that's a reality. Of, it's a reality, but my question is that with that law, is it going to be like, well, if you don't get caught by the police riding the uh -uh. law? They're going to set you up. They're not going to do it in this year or next year, a couple of years. But when they come down, you ain't going to have nothing to say. Is that because of martial law, too? Martial law, exactly. They're going to hit you. They're sitting on all the laws now. They know they're not going to stay. They, you know, they always hit you with baby boomers because they're waiting for a certain generation to die. Because you ain't going to have your great-great-grandma and your grandma to stop growing look what? Tomatoes and cucumbers and your collard greens and your other greens and your peppers. They're not going to stop doing that. They're going to think it's crazy. <laughs> but they're waiting for that generation to pass. And then when they get a few people that's doing it, that's when that law hit. That's when that law hit. Now what is the law going to do? What, is, what does law usually do when they, when they come down on you? The word is called confiscate. They may not lock you up, but they're going to take them fruits and vegetables in your yard. And they're going to take that, that pure dirt. They're going to use it in their greenhouses. They slick. So what you say? What's the solution? Grow it in your house. You know how you got like little fruits and vegetables in your... In, they said the garden. They didn't say your house. So a greenhouse. Like they doing, get you a greenhouse. <laughs> Think. That's all. I mean, I've, I've watched people growing up from New York. I watched my family from the South have food and stuff right in the barn. They had it in their little sheds. And they, was, they had food in there. And they was growing it. You just keep, you use this. All right, you ain't going in the ground, I'm going in the house. Because it ain't nothing to have in your kitchen on the shelf, pots full of aloe vera, am I right? You can do that. You can grow a tomato in your house and stuff. You can do it. You just keep doing it, you just got to think, that's all. But they did come down with that, and that's a law. That's sad, too. You can't grow no fruits and vegetables in your own garden, your own yard, your own land. That's how they do it. When they pass that law? Uh, when they pass that, that was about a month. About a month? Yeah. About a month. Made it official. Isn't that crazy? <laughs>